Okay, so today is to carry on with the render graph, make some, uh, hopefully make a fair bit of progress on the actual interesting meat of the render graph. So let's, through the last time I kind of had everything staged in a, in a commit, so let's undo that. Get all that stuff back out. Okay, maybe put that back in like this. Ah, uh, no, actually, you know, leave it like that. Okay, one thing I want to do is when I was kind of looking at the code idly, I got a little bit confused by the read-only, which I know is a very bizarre flag to get confused by, but so be it. What I want to do is I want to change it to an enum. So let's get photo graphics, UK render, graph, resource mode, something like that, which is going to be like, you know, render, graph, resource mode. Uh, we'll have read, all, read write equals zero, and render, Resource mode read only to be the other uh, possible um, value. And I'll change this to be that basically. Just to turn into a, an enum that's a bit more. A, I can change it down the line, which I probably will. Re, I mean, no, there's only read only and read write, so. It's just easier if I uh, can read the mode. It really is. As an enum rather than just a boolean. So, change that to mode. Uh, move this down to here. We've got to change that to that. Mode. Change that down here. So, mode equals mode. I don't actually use it anywhere quite yet, but I'll have to change these. Yes. Mode equals true would have been read only. Let's do read only. That's a bit, that's one character shorter. So, actually, bleed image. Okay. This is the source. So, yeah, this is read only. This wasn't. This is read write. Mode, unless can I think about why do I have this in the first place? Why can't I derive it from, uh, let's say, the layout? Because it may start and end in a read only mode, but it might be modified during the course of the job. Still, right, right, it could be changed. From that initial mode, it can be modified to another mode and set back. So I can't rely on that. I need to have an explicit, like, is this read only or read write throughout the entire course of the job. That's why. So uh, now that I've remembered that, got mode, this is read only. Mode, this is read write. Uh, when we export the image, this equals read only. How would that work? Hmm. trying to think because uh, if I'm exporting the image then if I set read only that has implications for how the resource may be used beforehand I need exclusive use of the resource at this point I may need some kind of other flag you know what? I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just roll with this. Read only because what if the uh, image is like um is not mutable? Actually, that'd be down here, wouldn't it? Uh, as well. Mode is read write, but if it's mutable, so I, this needs to be is mutable. Um, then I can say you know. 
this read write. Sorry, not the way around. That ternary. Tur ternary? When I export, it could be that. It's like an image. Do I have image information? I technically do. Okay, set it to read write for the moment. I'll come back to this to figure out how exactly I can flag a resource. So this resource state, read only. When I'm presenting it, read write. It's going to be modified after. Resolve mode. Read. Write. Hmm. This mode. Okay. I'm GUI. This is what? The render target. The render target. Hold on a second, get out of here. Image states. How is the render target read only? That is never true. It's not supposed to be true. This is supposed to be a writable thing. Okay, see him. Yeah. See that's something that that with the ungui render thing, that's something I missed because it was a Boolean. Whereas when I'm actually looking at this with this, like it's explicit, this is read only, not just true read. Ah. It's easier to reason about something when it's like this, to my mind, right now. So I'll, I'd rather do that. Uh where was I? Render graph swap chain. This is the render target, right? Swap chain image state. This is not read only, this is read write. when I'm adding it, importing it to the, yeah. Okay. Compilable? No. I'm missing something in the present image. Load. Read, write. Hmm. Render scene, right. Uh, this is read only, this is, is it? When I'm rendering to the scene, The first one is color render target. Yeah, these are both supposed to be read write. Hmm. Okay. Is that still compilable? Yes, yes it is. Okay, and it does generate a, an image which is upside down, but it's what was rendered. Good. Right, uh, next, 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 next. What I wanna do next, in the vein of simplification, is to split out the compile, the compilation and validation from the execution job in this. We'll kind of move this up here, I guess. Something like that. So graphics VK render graph compile. For the moment it would just take this. And it would just, for the moment, uh, that. 
We're doing like the jobs that we're processing. Okay, we need to grab this stuff. Like that. Doing this. And then we return to photographic uh, for result, photographic DK success. And we'd have to put like the render graph file equals true. I need to have a, a flag that says whether or not the graph has been compiled so I can tell whether or not I can execute it down here. So let's get that. Compiled equals true. I need a I need to add that flag here. Starts off at, as false by default, so that's fine there. The graph. Executed. Do that. I need to say like every time I add something to here, p render graph file equals false. Um, file sets it to true, and I need some. This says if p render graph if not compiled, I need to say like hey you know. So graphics VK error. Render graph not compiled. It's going to require a new result here. Kind of put it here for the moment equals negative nine 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 nine. I need what? I need a six a you know a conditional success case. So graphics DK an informative success case where I say like if there were no jobs to execute equals one or two. So we also want one that says like, if there were no jobs to compile, that's useful to know. Okay. So this would have been like, if P render graph jobs is empty. You can kind of do a little thing here as well, where if I don't need to set render graph to be true to compile. And down here, I can say if to um, do that, I can also do this like if there are literally no jobs. Equals true any job executed. If we get down to here, if not any job executed, then I can return results photographic. Okay, no jobs to execute. So there's two cases for that. Uh, 
Hmm. Yeah, okay. Okay, uh, another small thing that just makes it easier for me to do is getting rid of memory, getting rid of this unique pointer I have down here. Just, there we go. So P new job equals new standard no throw of this kind of that okay if p new job equals no pointer then i want to return to foe result of foe graphics uh, uh whoops so out of memory return that otherwise make that Simpler that that so this becomes just auto star p job go just go through like that runs fine e no it does not Whoops. Graphics VK, unknown error. Because I'm not calling the compile. Right, right, right. That might help. Execute. Okay, and probably actually, yeah. Uh, this render graph. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Render graph. Compile. Actually, also, yeah, I want to re change this just a little bit. Render graph. Ooh, like that. Compile, render graph, this, great. Mm -hmm. And then I need to actually make Changes public. So that becomes cute. Got the compile up here. Compile. There we go. Now this should actually run right. Perfect. Yeah, perfection. Is there anything I can really... Uh, I've got so many changes at this point that it's very much a... Uh, Hmm. Yeah, I, I can't really stage this halfway. This is kind of like an all or nothing kind of deal at this point. All right, because again, like no, basically none of it's HTTP used. So okay, compilation. Let's 
Roll on up to around here. Validation culling, okay. Going downstream to upstream, okay. Render graph processing. So it's only if the job is required and then I move backwards. So there's a couple of things I want to do. Um, the first is, did I redo? Yeah, this is kind of, kind of okay. Um, hmm. Okay. Roll down to here, the compilation area. So what I do, first of all, I make sure I go through required jobs and those will be processed, go through and just move back on the jobs, whether or not, okay. So for one thing, once I establish the jobs, I need to mark out Hmm. I need to go through the resources. I really do. What I'm going to do is, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Auto star P resource out of P render graph resources. We'll go through those. What I'm in thinking is Hmm. I only okay. I'm just going to deal with the image resources right now. That's the, that's the um, that's the big one right now. So an image basically go it. It starts somewhere first. Oh, okay. That's actually true. I'm going to, have to do that. Okay. Render graph job resource states star. Wave and vector under graph job state next use wave. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off like wherever uh, P resource is the first job scene. And then I'm just going to do like a flood fill where I just like, I just go through image states in waves. So, ah, uh, while through, I need to, first of all, resource, or I'll start the resource. For all the current jobs, starting with that first one, which I'll implement in a moment, I want to go through for auto star D downstream state, which is the T resource state downstream. If downstream state P job is being processed then next use wave place back uh, t down state. if use wave of empty if there's no more waves there's no more jobs they as I flood fill and go through find wherever the resource is being used then I can break out resource sort and remove duplicates I think that's going to be a problem now so I need an algorithm algorithm 
back down here. Next, use wave. We want to remove the duplicates, so next, use wave dot erase. Standard unique from next, use wave dot begin. Next, use wave dot end. We're erasing from wherever that is, which is the new end, to next, use wave dot end. If any, current use wave is greater than one. If there's more than one, then I okay. If there, like if there's only one uh, job in the next wave or the current wave, then I don't need to do a comparison. If there's more than one, then I need to make sure that the states all the in the current use wave. I need to make sure all the outgoing states are compatible. And then the same thing for the incoming on the next use wave. So next use wave. Size greater than one. Otherwise, I don't have to worry. If it's just one, that's fine. I think I have to at least make sure. There's some other verifications I can probably do. Elsewhere. <sighs> oh, graphics. DK render graph star P reference. So this is going to equal current use wave zero dot the initial of the first one. Well, one starts at one. Move up that way. We will compare P, compare. This is not zero, this is I. I need to do, first of all, I need to do, I need to do a couple of things. I need to make sure. P reference S type not equal to compare. S type and standard abort. I'll just do standard abort for now. I'm only doing images, so if uh, I need to include this state, e reference. Right, all right, I need to include the header first. DK render graph resource. Layout not equal, basically the same thing. Uh, but for P compare, or okay, for the moment, I'll just do that standard abort. Do the same thing for the next use wave, basically. Mm -hmm. And it's P in coming state. We need to make sure that all the states are matching at the moment. Do, 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 do. If that's the case, <sighs> then I need to create a transition state and then I need to do swap I need to like basically change the next use wave to become current and like clear out next so there we 
clear the list. Say some B. So I want to do standard swap uh, current next use wave. So that okay, I'll swap them and then next use what is now next use wave will be cleared, but it won't actually be so. Like if I have a number of space already allocated, I won't deallocate it and then have to re uh, realloc every time. I just can just keep swapping the basically swapping the two sets of buffers and then expand them. Okay, more. Uh, less often. Okay, create transition state. So, I think Okay, um Transitions create transition state. So when I do an image transition, it involves this stuff. No, no, sorry, that's an image blit. Uh, transition. There we go. Memory barrier. Mm -hmm. So we got the layouts. Sorry, we got the layouts. We got the flags between the layouts, which I can derive. Q families I don't have yet. Image and then the sub resource range, which would be this. This would need to have to be. Added. This needs to be passed through. The aspect. Yeah. 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 Um, hmm. So. I need this. I need this to be passed in as part of this image resource. So we've got the layout and we've got the. Whoops. Sub resource range. That would be passed through as part of that. I am not going to care about sub compare, doing comparisons to sub-resource ranges right now. Because what's going to have to happen is... Okay, back that up for the moment. This is going to be a nasty bit of business. Pipeline barrier has three things that it can take in, which is memory barriers, buffer memory barriers, and image memory barriers. Okay. So I, I would need to, on a job, I need to have Six vectors, I think, standard vector. Uh, so I need I need memory barrier. Okay, for the moment, we'll just do this. This. Incoming. Barriers. And then I have a standard vector of outgoing barriers. And then I have to basically. Oh no, this would have to be all together, right? Oh no, no. Image memory barrier. Sub resource range. Ah, oh, this is even worse. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Yeah, so I could just I could just slap this stuff in. Okay. Incoming barriers, outgoing barriers. We go down here. We're going to have create transition state. Okay, I'm for currently still assuming that this is an image only kind of thing. I need to do that. UK image memory barrier. Image barrier. Basically make a copy of this. Just about. So we got that. That's what we're doing. Uh, this is whatever the key. Uh-huh. The upstream reference. Becomes that, becomes that. Downstream reference. Becomes that, becomes that. Move this outside of here. Okay. What's going to happen is we're going to be doing this. that. So this is the up downstream and then the upstream is here. Like that. Uh, I also got to deal with the uh, <laughs> Q family problems, downstream references. Then I got to do P resource, source data image. UK graph image, and star, something like that. Image resource. Okay, we do that. That's what that is. And then we've got to pass in the sub resource. So it's the P upstream reference. Sub resource range. Which we then have to. <laughs> Lap up on to there. Is it that or no, it's a range. It's this. So that pass through. So this is the image barrier between whatever the upstreams and the downstreams at this point. Now, I need to figure out, okay, where do I put it? If uh, the upstream If the current use wave mode equals something, something read only, 
uh, render graph read write. Then we put it there. We're going to put it on the upstream side for the moment. So current use wave. I have to go. I because there's only one. Good job. Uh, incoming bear, outgoing barriers. Dot and place back this. Just a copy of that. Okay. Else if next youth wave equals. So that's the case of there's only one of those. So then we basically do almost the same thing. So we put it on the incoming side instead. Incoming barriers. Else uh, we run into a very strange issue where. I need to insert a fresh job in between. That's Insert synchronization the real jobs. But I don't have to do that right now, right? Hope. Do that or do that or this. So they should only reach this if they're both read and write only, right? So that would happen. I would create all of these. And then what would have to happen is I'd have to go through the jobs again. And I'd have to, oh, during compilation, sorry, during execution, when I create these command buffers, I would have to add something around here. I'll figure that out in a moment. Let's just make sure that the logic up to this point is... Oh, right, P first job scene. Uh, so the first, every resource has that. It has a point where this Star P first scene. When is a resource first seen? So that uh, becomes the case where if P resource P first scene equals null pointer, then that means like you created a resource but you never actually used it. So continue. I don't care about. I did not, I don't have to do anything here. Uh, up to adding a job like that here. Hmm. I add no, maybe here, no, maybe after No, when I'm processing the resource, yeah, here, here, I'm processing resources, 
after I've created a resource state, if this is the first time I've seen it, yeah, if t resource t first seen is null pointer, then I need to go through something like that. If t dot upstream job count is zero, which it should be because this resource should never have been seen before. P resource first seen equals PD job resources I, which is where who the one I am. Yep. Right, no, yeah, P new job resources, this point right here, which this, what did I put? Oh. Yes. No? Yes. Okay. Um, I have an error case where if, if it's not zero, then I need to say, hey, you know, uh, Never been seen. Screen. What? Put an abort case there, which I'll figure out with a real error code later. So this becomes that, right? P first. That is how we figure out how to actually start doing the flood fill from. Okay. So let's actually see how this first of all compiles. Right. Right. Okay, whatever. Uh, the, the, this resource is the rendered image. And the current use wave that I see it as is when I've imported it. And now I'm going to find when I'm re I've imported it. So I'm going to render to it right downstream state. P job render 3D scene. Yes, I see that I go through the, there's no wave after this point. Or there is one. So I'm doing this stuff. There's only the one, so that's fine. Go through. The upstream reference becomes that. That's great. There's only one. Same thing here. There's only one. I create an image barrier. Just use it for this stuff. Whoa. Whoops. Uh, okay. Current use waves zero. Outgoing state. We have. Yeah, the S type is that. That's great. I love reading that. This next wave zero. P incoming state. Of the job render 3D scene. Which I believe is this. Right. Colorful image. Ooh, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's a screw up for sure. Why? Because oh, 
write this because I don't actually have a requirement for a starting state. Because as part of doing a render pass, as part of a render pass, render pass will do the, the state change by itself. Okay. Oh my god. If the downstream reference is null pointer. Dogs can inherit ever the initial state. Do I really want to? You know what? No, 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 no. I'm not even going to complicate my life with this quite yet. That'll be a refinement that I can do down the line. What I really should be doing here is I'm going to say, hey, you know, this is always going to be, let's say... It'll be, I don't know. I won't know what it is. I'm just going to. Figure it out right now. It's undefined. Oh, come on. Final color layout being this. Okay, I should at least have these, right? T outgoing state is. Yeah, I should have at least these. Drive going state. Sorry. That. Render graph structure. Image. Step stencil. Image. Image state. And that's part of that there. Okay. Dot, dot, um, 
equals. I'm just going to do the whole thing like that. Aspect depth fit. Okay, yeah, the more I do this, the more I'm starting to really, really not like what I'm trying to do. I I don't think I was equipped enough for this at all. At all. This is way here is just too much. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna like cut I'm just cutting a whole bunch of things across the border, like optimizations and stuff. Like I know I can make optimizations if I get this done well. I am I know I'm not doing this well. I'm just barely hanging on. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Border graph, okay. So I got that. I need right, I need the initial state. Oh. No, 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 no. Your family stuff. Oh no. Okay, what was I doing? I like I'm I'm, I'm super flustered. <laughs> I I've lost where I was. Image state, color state. I, okay, I don't have an initial state. I have an outgoing state. I don't have an initial state. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an initial state. Initial. Initial depth. Okay, we're going to do this. Just going to do this initial. Initial depth stencil state. We're going to say that it was mm, can I rerun up to this point? Please tell me I can. Yes, I can. Undefined and undefined. I'll just say it's undefined for the moment. And we'll just kind of slap these in. Initial depth, stencil, image state. Okay, great. Let's see if I can actually, how far I get on this again, continue. So we're here. Come through. Yeah, 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 we're doing this stuff. Great, fantastic. Image barrier. I have a downstream reference, which is now something.
So we do that. Mm -hmm. If we did that, then we can swap. We can move on to the next one. Okay. We're still on rendered image. We're still going downstream. Zero. So I render the 3D scene, and now I'm doing next, this way, zero, the job, name, that. Okay, so we're here. That's... I'll always prefer to do it onto the end of that. This was... Sorry, what image? Rendered image. Image memory barrier is source and source. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. How was... Right, right. The current job was that. So that is re yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, no, no. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. This one. Okay, so this is uh, the render depth target. Yeah. Same thing there. Okay. Okay. Copy a rendered image to render I'm GUI. So we at this point, that's read only, right? So it should. Sorry, what is this? The present image. Oh no, yeah, I did read. I I did write to it. Yeah, yeah. Render I am GUI pass. The present image. So that's that was writing to the present image, and that's yeah. There's no cases where I do that yet, is there? No. I mean, it's not. Okay. Okay, this is the case where that's, whoops. This is the case where after I copied the rendered image to the back buffer, then I also want to copy it to the blip render CPU image, the CPU image. Same time, although, for what was? The rendered image. Technically, these would both be firing off at the same time, wouldn't they? Uh, that's what I would like for them to both uh, fire off at the same time. So they're both, they both technically be read only for this. So. Render target color image is not used except for in that one case. So technically, that and that case, right? So that one should not happen again for the moment. You're kidding me. Now I've got something. Now I've got a uh, bad time. Okay, well, I'm on a next wave size where. Yeah. So, sorry, what's what's the problem here? Mm-hmm, 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Less than that. Okay. Hmm. So if this or the job uh, uh incoming barriers dot size or just not empty not the job outgoing barriers dot empty then I need to generate this if that do that otherwise at this point we'd want to put we, we, at this point we uh, add the barriers so the this we'll just kind of yeah whatever we'll just do it we'll just do that this becomes, sorry, if incoming barriers, if that, then we do data. Then we kind of do the same thing, but for the outgoing here. Then we end it. Then we have not custom submit, otherwise we submit. Okay, so at this point, okay, this should break. This should just be horrible. Okay, uh, so I was very prophetic because as soon as that started, the my entire desktop environment just crashed outright. And I just had to go back to a terminal and just restart the computer. So let us not do that again as much, hopefully. I'm not entirely like sure as to how that would have happened. I mean, I, I do technically know. I'll probably just try to, I delved, I was doing stuff that was not meant for mankind or something. So now I need to re-sort out where I was. I was doing this. I was going to do something like this. Okay, I don't want to, okay. I don't want to execute anymore. I just want to compile, right? Or at least I don't want to. I don't know. I do. I want to do this. But what I want to do instead is in the render graph. I don't want when I get get to the point of execution. I don't actually want to submit anything. I just want to do that. I want to turn on validation. And I want to make sure that I, I'm not. entirely super crazy. Hopefully it won't crash everything if I do this. So that we want to turn on validation, we want to turn on debug logging, and we go here. So let's see if I can actually catch any of this before it
wait a second. One of the first things that would happen is be like, it's VK layer undefined to undefined, right? That would probably not work well. Right, okay, right now it's loading in the validation layers and stuff. That's great. So we're here. So going through, hey, you know what? I am going to be not doing anything there. Okay. Aspect mask must not be zero. Right, because a whole bunch of these down here when I'm doing stuff with them, dot layout, dot layout. So this is dot. That and that. That, 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 and that. Mm -hmm. And finally, render scene down here somewhere. I already did these. That, 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 and that. Okay. Recompile. Get to that point. Go. Render graph, swap chain. What if? Import swap chain image render. I need it in here, don't I? Just about right there. Okay, let's do that again. Oh, it's on the other. It just didn't stop. It just kind of blew right through it all, did it? Or, okay, maybe that's why. Okay, we are on import rendered image. So there should only be an outgoing and it's going like what from, uh oh, it's going from like uh, undefined to undefined and that is a no, no, right? Mm hmm. If the upstream and downstream reference layouts are the same, then we can skip, right? We don't actually need to synchronize because they're literally the exact same thing. We'll still have semaphores 
synchronize if it's like a read write thing but we don't need a transition so let's do that Ah, Yeti. Oh, no, I'd have to. Okay. Um, no, I need to do it the other way around. I need to do that. We we'll still need to do the, the swaps and stuff. Uh oh, stop, 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 stop. I need to re add these. Okay, this and this. So I just skip the, the expensive part. Okay, render a 3D. Scene. We're there. We're down to that point. Okay. Let's. Let's do this. Let's see if I'm actually at that point where I can just kind of do this. We got some damn neat stuff in here. And the stuff in here. Let's see where else we have these. We have it. Where am I? Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't. No. 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 Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Yes. Yes. Eliminated. 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 I need to do the same thing here. So. That. And this. All right. All right, please. Please don't break horribly. Okay, right, so it happened a couple times. So I don't know why I keep deleting these things. I shouldn't. Mm. Base array layer equals one is greater or, or equal to. Sorry, for which, which barrier am I talking about here? On what job? Okay. Okay.
So we're on what? Copy rendered image to back buffer. And what happened? Base array layer equals one. Must be less than the array layer specified in when the image was created. Where do I have a base array layer? Of greater than or equal to one. I'm sorry. Where is this? Get out of here. Base array layer of one. Layer count of whoa okay yeah 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 okay problem for sure who and i question who has a sub resource that's silly so let's do this one of these guys is going to have it's going to come through here, and he's going to have who am I not copying stuff correctly, or what? It's not a it's it's a full copy in memory copy. There's no pointers or anything going on in here. So okay. What job am I am I on? I'm on present image going between copy rendered copy rendered image to back buffer. This is a copy. On the copy job. Copy rendered image to back buffer. Yes. Okay, here we go. I missed some. Of course I would. Get out of here. Bam. Bam. What? No. Okay, well, it was specifically who was it? Who was it? Copy rendered image. This is the upstream. Current wave. Copy rendered image to back buffer. Bring it. Come on. Come on. Copy, copy, come on. Give me my name. Copy rendered image back buffer. Okay. T image states. That's real. That's real. That's real. And that's real. Am I goofing on something else? Was it actually? No, it couldn't have been one of these. These don't matter yet. These aren't used here. They're used here. Mm, no, they wouldn't be used down there.
Hmm. Okay. So this is on the present image, which is the destination. Destination resource is this. I pass that in. This is the state. And I'm doing... The upstream... Reference, which is coming from the outgoing state of the current use wave. Whoop, get out of here. Current use wave, you, mm, you. Outgoing state is this, this. Alrighty then. Copy image. Am I losing something? Am I? Because uh, I'm not calling these things yet. This should still be very much alive. Out in the middle of somewhere. Okay. I'm looking for... Speci I need to record the address. Okay, I don't need validation right now. Is it because I'm doing that? I'm like, I that applied to that, and then it was doing a plus whatever instead of moving. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six. Let's see if we get any problems by the time we get down here. No problems. No problems. And then uh, it, because it's no, nothing's ever submitted, it kind of goes out to that. Okay. Let's start submitting this stuff. And let's see if my desktop decides to crash again. So let me uh, just stop the recording and restart it. Okay. And come on. Yes. 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 Okay. 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 Okay, I like this. I like this a lot. It's finally happening. Weeks. Maybe even, I've been on this like for a month. I've been on this for like a month, trying to like rack my brain and like recording like once a week, trying to get something put together that'll work. And I finally have it. It's rickety, it's skeletal, it's held together by duct tape and twine. But it works. I can finally move the barrier stuff out of the individual jobs and put it into the render graph where there's hopefully in the future going to be far more information. It'll be able to make a better decision on when to insert barriers. If it needs to insert barriers, for example, in the case of the case where like they were both matching or something like that. And then I can move it like to the before or the after, depending on whatever, and insert fresh jobs if required to synchronize. And then I can batch the pipeline barriers together, not just for images, but memory and buffers and 
Oh, and oh, wait, I have to do the Q family stuff. Eventually, like when I have asynchronous compute or when I'm trying to like do multiple things across different Q families, then I can also do that right here instead of trying to like really download that into the individual jobs. But for the moment, let's just, okay, let's just, let's just trash. And trash this. Um, hmm. I had, was a blit? That's gone. Copy, resolve. I have something that works right now, so let's put that on. It still works, right? Okay, if it works, then I need to recheck the validation. Okay. Validation check. I really need to do something way easier after this for a couple of sessions because this killed me. No! Ew. Ew, 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 ew. Okay. I've got some really, oh, right, 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 right. Uh, that problem where I had, where I was doing like the plus whatever, that is going to be in here as well. Basically wherever P is taking it back. I need to be a bit more careful with this. Okay. Uh, plus, plus, plus here. Um, here. Do this again. Now that is a dream. Okay. Build, bow, bring up. Let's turn off validation. So I only test memory issues. Uh, right. A uh, few bits and oh, all over the place. Wow, okay, this was really bad. What? Right, right, okay, no, I know this, I know this. When I got rid of the unique pointer, I didn't add the destroy. Is it job first? Job should be first, shouldn't it? Or I'll go start the job. Jobs. And we're done. We're validation is clean. 
memory is clean. It's doing the job. It's all being done. I'm just, again, it's doing it in a very rickety sense, but it does it. So I think I will call it a session there. And then next time I'll have to freak out about getting refinements and minor fixes for whatever I come up with there. But the bones are there. The bones skeleton is there. I can build upon this. I can build upon this. So until next time, cheers. <laughs>